Sea beans, or drift seeds as some folks call them, are seeds that plants drop into waterways and are then carried to distant shores by ocean currents. They come in various shapes and sizes and can be collected along beaches, polished, and made into various things. There are lots of ways to polish these beans, but I'll walk you through my method. I use an inexpensive rock tumbler I got from my local hobby shop. I simply put several beans into the barrel and add two teaspoons of medium grit rock tumbling powder, which is also purchased from the local hobby shop or online from rock tumbling websites. I add an equal amount of salt to my mix, and I'll explain why in a second. I fill the barrel with just enough water to cover the seeds. This creates a slurry that's not too wet or too dry. I close the barrel, secure it in the tumbler, and let it tumble for 24 to 48 hours. I add salt to my mix because sea beans are adapted to survive long periods in the ocean, yet germinate when exposed to fresh water. If you tumble them without salt water, they may start to germinate and ruin the seed if you want to make something out of it. After 24 hours, I remove the seeds, rinse them, and dry them off. At this point, I have nice, smooth sea beans, but I want them to really shine. There are several ways to accomplish this, but I use clear gloss polyurethane. I lay the seeds out and apply a light coat. Once the polyurethane is dried, my seeds really sparkle. If you want to make jewelry, you can then drill holes in the seeds or add hardware and combine them with beads or stones to make interesting necklaces. With a little investment and time, you can take dull drift seeds and make them into attractive pieces.